my name is Jeremy Helm and my family have farmed here for 48 uh, or 50 years and um, I've been farming here for about 25 years. Uh, we have a mixed farm, quite an unusual thing these days, it's an organic mixed farm. We have Hereford cattle and about 120 to 130 acres of vegetables. Uh, the challenges for an organic farmer are, are pretty massive to be honest. It's, it's quite hard to grow vegetables anyway. Um, for instance, with uh, this year we've grown sprouts and there's been an awful lot of cabbage white butterflies around and whilst you're allowed to use certain things as an organic farmer to try and control them, um, what are known as biological controls, they're never quite as effective perhaps as, as what people use out in the conventional world. So we have the pests and diseases and perhaps the other big one that we find is pigeons and rabbits. If you plant things like fennel and you don't put a fence around it, by the next morning the rabbits will have been there and half your fennel has gone. Um, other problems, I suppose weeds. Weeds are the bane of probably many organic farmers' lives and it takes many hours or careful tractor hoeing up and down the roads to try and control them. Why do we choose to, to grow organic when it's often so difficult to do? I suppose you, you have to walk across the fields like we walked across the fields today and look at everything looking so so gorgeous. And I, I know that that could be the case even when it's not organic. But, but we know what we've put into it and we know what we've allowed to carry on growing or not grow. Um, and then you look at the, um, the store shed where we've got all our produce there and it looks great and you know it's healthy and you know it's going to go to lots of people who are going to enjoy it and you just, just feel good, you have to. Because no, no farm is complete without a really good team of, of people working on the farm. And I have to say that we would not be able to uh, produce what we produce and carry on in the worst weathers in the winter and the hottest times in the summer without the team that we've got, who is, the team is led by, by Monica, who's been with us 10 years. And as time gone on, has gone on, she's got more and more involved. And, and now she's really the sort of person that, that runs the day-to-day um, the -day and the more than day-to-day -day aspects of the farm. And really it should be her sitting here, not me, but um, she's told me I have to be here, so here I am. But she is the person that, without her and, and her workers, we couldn't do what we do. Of the, the vegetables, I think the squashes are my favourite thing to grow. Last year we had a disastrous year because it was so wet, so cold, and the squashes just did not like that. This year it's a completely different story. They've loved it, the plants are massive. There should be a really good harvest of squashes this year. And probably because the squashes are so colorful um, and they're such a sort of happy thing to, to grow and, and um, it's just nice to see a good pile of squashes in the, in the box. Well, my favorite way to cook squash is just to roast them, just in some olive oil, perhaps with a bit of pepper, uh, sometimes with a little sprinkling of curry powder on top. Um, but yeah, just, just roasted squash is great for me.